Hi guys, we're gonna do an equations now. Inequalities, I'm sorry. If you hear any strange squeaking sounds, Stacy's playing the flute. And she's my younger sister. Alright, so inequalities, just really quickly, for people who don't know how to do them. You know this. You should know these signs. I don't know what grade people are watching. But just to give it as an alligator, it's always wants the one that has more. I don't know, food. So that means, because his mouth is open here, this has to be greater than this. The line under it just means equal to. So it can be equal to or greater, or less than, I'm sorry. This side has to be equal to or less than 30. All right, now if you want, you can pause this video and do the equation. All right, now we're gonna actually do the equation. Inequality, I'm sorry. I'll call it an equation, but it's not. Okay, first thing, just like the equations video, we're gonna distribute this side. So we're gonna get negative six times five is negative 30. And then negative six times negative one x, because there's always a one from the x, would be positive six x. Am I correct? Yes, I am. And then let's bring this down. I really apologize for my handwriting. I have the worst number handwriting. Okay, after that, we're going to, you always do the addition or subtract. You never do the one with the variable first. So first we're just gonna add 30 to both sides to get 60, positive six X. And thankfully this comes out evenly and we get 10 is greater than or equal to x. Now, the correct way to actually write this is you always want the variable on the left. So, x will be less than or equal to 10. Alright, now I'm going to show you how we actually do this. Just like I did in my last video. Alright, this is basically the same thing as an equation. The only thing that's different Minus x or plus x? Minus x, I'm sorry. Alright. It's the basic thing. I'm not going to explain it again because I did in my other video. So if you want, go to my multi-step equations video and I show you exactly how to do this. The only thing that's different is the sign. Alright. So I'm not going to bother explaining it. But, I do need to show you one example that's very important. 50 is less than 8 minus 6x. Alright. Now, let's see. If you want, pause the video and do this problem. And let's see. Okay. Alright. Well, Okay. First thing you would do, because there's nothing in parentheses, this is your actual equation. There's nothing to distribute. There's nothing to simplify. This is as good as it gets. So it becomes really easy. All we have to do, we always leave this to last. So we subtract 8 from both sides. And we get 42 is less than negative 6. Now, the next thing to do is divide by negative 6. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, why is this important, right? The same thing as the other one, except this is even easier. Well, actually, when you divide by a negative, the sign flips. And it makes a big difference if you can see, between this and that, okay? Less than and greater than and equal to make a huge difference if you actually substitute the variable for a number. So when you divide by a negative or you multiply by a negative, the sign will switch. Otherwise, it's the same thing as the equations that we did in my last video. So, well, I'll just do one more. 
see. Do that one. Okay, 15 minus 10x. Is that then 20? Alright. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do first is add the subtract the 15. Minus 15. You guys remember this? Less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or equal to is the sign that's always supposed to stay. One side of the equation, the other side. Alright, so if we subtract that, we get negative 10x is less than 9. Is that right? Yeah. Now just divide by negative 10. And it doesn't have to come out. No. Perfect. I'm sorry, that is the wrong sign. Alright, so this has been inequality. And they're the same thing as equations. It's just the sign, you know. Less than. It's kind of like the L shape. Kind of looks like a slanted L. Like I said, excuse me for my handwriting. Greater than. Maybe that way. And then if you wanted it put equal to, it's like that. Just put the line. A meter, hopefully, line underneath. Thank you for watching this, if you have. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.